Hey, hello. Um, this is just going to be a quick build on the Babel Systems Tabletop Games and Terrain. I uh, got this one for like seven, eight bucks. Um, it's the Ancient Portal, which you see right here. And then there's the contents. It includes an Ancient Portal, a Vortex, a console, activation runes, and some vine patches, which is probably going to be those your vines. It's made out of a card stock to has train supply flat packed on high quality high density card printed in full color on both sides so no painting required um, there's a website there the battle systems.co.uk and they have full instructions on this similar to a there's his live video instructions where TT combat um, has just you go their site and it's a, a print a, a PDF instruction there so only 11 pieces, so um, it's for 28 to 35 millimeter terrain. And I just thought, you know, why not let's give this a shot and see what it's like. So, all right, let's get to it. finished here um, it looks pretty cool I mean if you're looking for a quick uh, quick way to get some terrain on the table and don't have to do any painting or anything then yeah this is this is the one right here um, the neat thing about it is uh, how you can use it you know you have this console here and how um, you can actually uh, make a scenario or gameplay or campaign out of it because um, in here you have these slots for the rune stones 
That's these little guys. I'll just throw them out right here, right there. Now, yes, they are very, very small, so you kind of have to try to keep an eye on these so the carpet monster or the vacuum monster doesn't get it. But um, you can do a little scenarios where, uh, a little game where you have to find these rune stones where they slot in right there and to activate this gate. And you see how there's a couple already put in there. I'm, I'm doing this with one hand here, so obviously. But um, they will fit, they fit snug in here just fine. But um, yeah. And then uh, also, it has a little, like, I don't know what you call it, moonstone or another runestone that goes in this little top slot right here. And you just fit it in so. So it's almost like you can have a whole bunch of you can have groups looking for each one or whatever, and you can actually have, a, have them fight over it or whatever. And uh, yeah, so that's pr pretty cool. Um, I'm definitely going to use that in one of my. Uh, one of my games here on the side there they they have little uh, cutouts for uh, vines and all that and that oops, sorry about that <laughs> and um, they have these they have some cutouts here in the squares where you could just push them under here just to kind of give it a little bit more life to it or whatever and the neat thing is also this is obviously activated and if you want un if you don't want to activate it you just slide this off. If I could do this without busting it. I got that thing in there so snug. But you just slide it out. Yeah, there you go. Like so. Now it's not activated. Ta-da! <laughs> so I think this is a pretty cool thing. Um, this is the ancient portal. Um, obviously I was thinking about keeping you know this one for uh, the fantasy games. And then you can actually port, you know, transport into the future or somewhere in space or whatever. I think it'd be awesome. A lot of things you could do with this. So, and you can reuse it over and over too. So, that's a neat thing. So, anyways, I hope the little bit video wasn't too boring and all that. So, uh, if you have any questions or comments, please uh, just leave them down below. And uh, like, subscribe, and all that stuff. Um, thank you uh, to all the subscribers. Um, it's, I appreciate it, and it's kind of motive gives me some motivation to keep going and, and share the work and uh, see your guys' stuff and all that. So there you go. Uh, I'll have a picture at the end of this, and you guys take care and. Uh,